Odin is a secondary battleship, um, if you want to, but mm, uh, tank build might be better. I play personally uh, secondary build on an Odin, but with the Odin you need to play extremely careful. You are not allowed to play too aggressive, because Odin's health pool just doesn't allow it. Yes, the armor allows you to play aggressive, but your health tool is utter garbage. Um, by the way, do you guys hear me normal again? Or is it like, I, I just want to know, is the audio quality okay? Because I fixed my RTX and I want to know if it's on stream okay. Perfect. RTX is online again, so you don't hear like the planes or whatever. Good, perfect. Thank you. I can't get Ege to work, let me, let me see how you do it. Oh, it's basically you play it like a long range cruiser. Occasionally you can push, but you don't play it too aggressive. It's more like a flanky boy. Almost normal. Almost. Here comes the aeroplane! <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty creepy. Normal will be when you give Johnny Depp back, yeah. Maybe you'll see Johnny Depp today on stream. Maybe he's gonna come back into the room. I don't know. I haven't locked my door, so it's possible. Can you play Iggy like a mines? Yes, but like a tanky mines. You can you can do more with it. With the mines you be to, need to be really careful. And you play the mines sometimes more island based, while this thing you can play more in the open as well. I would rather compare it to a rune because it's more tanky. But it's German, you must play aggressive. No, just because it's German you don't need to play the ships aggressive. Especially since you have quite decent accuracy on the ship. As you can see, look at that dispersion, that tight grouping. Now he turned in, that's why I didn't hit him, but it's just, you can see, these guns are actually quite accurate, especially for Germ if you consider them being German guns. Oh shit, he's fast. Oh fucking shit. Friedrich der Grosse or Aegir? Probably Aegir. Friedrich der Grosse is just too inconsistent. Friedrich der Grosse is really good in ranked, but not in a random battle but because way too many people are shooting you. Come on, buddy. Shoot him. Oh, you want to go to the island without getting detected? Yeah, sure, I can understand that. The only thing that's pretty shit that the Aegir is, uh, are the firing angles. But look at that dispersion. That's really good grouping. And now tell me this thing is not accurate. <coughs> Given the choice, Aegir or Alaska? Alaska. For the simple fact that Alaska can be used in way more situations. Good. Like Alaska has way more tools. You have Raider. Which makes you way more viable. Also, you have, in my opinion, a better armor layout. No, the armor is fine as long as you angle it. But Alaska is just so hard to sit at all. It has improved AP angles. Yes, the shells are slower, but Alaska is still the poggers. Like, it, it's the best um, battle cruiser on tier 9, in my opinion. By far. But you have to get used to the American shell arcs, the slow ones. Well, this thing has German ones, so pretty fast. I feel German ships... Uh, yeah, you can play them aggressive, but not all the time. You have to learn to not always play aggressive and play more passive. Like here. I've got to play this defensive, but I want to go dark whenever I can. So I'm gonna play it more from the back. The accuracy is perfect from this ship. It's perfectly fine on longer ranges. I don't need to be worry. I don't need to worry that I don't do anything. No, this works. Look at this. I'm gonna hit probably like five shells here, if not more. There we go. It's seven. Yes, I know four shattered, but still. It's some damage. And the reload is not bad either for a battle cruiser, so it'll be fine. And if I want to go dark, I'm just gonna stop shooting, but my health pool is doing good. As I said, Aegir is a really nice ship. 
I do like Siegfried more just because I really like bigger guns and being able to like super smack people or have the possibilities. But it doesn't change the fact that Aegir is really strong. Oh fuck. I potatoed here. He's gonna turn. Oh, actually, he's taking quite a while to go full throttle. Nice. Wait, now he stopped. Okay. Actually, gonna extinguish that fire. He's gonna go forward, that's for sure. I don't think we're gonna catch him. Right. No, he's speeding up. Now we're gonna turn and play a bit more. Oh, we got him. Nice. A bit more aggressive. Just the old Ingrid guy. No, we're gonna play Triad now. We're gonna play as good as we can. Try to do the best. To, s to show the difference that sometimes playing Triad does not mean too much fun. But it shows you how much. Like, what you can do when you just follow a few simple rules. Not hacks, just be patient. Don't rush in like a uh, retard with the German ships. Just because you have amazing armor or like you, you have a ship that is usually better at the front line, it doesn't mean you need to go there. That's the, be the biggest example is the Kurfürst. The Kurfürst, unlike the Friedrich der Große, allows you to play more in range because you have 12 guns. Don't push it like a monkey, exactly. Like, not the monkey the streamer, but like, you know what I mean, like a monkey. And as much as I love to play, for example, Lambas and Monkey, but sometimes I would just play a bit more passive and not too aggressive. Like, yes, sure, it's amazing when it works, but yeah. You will notice if you watch Flambas and Flamu that Flambas tries to play it way more aggressive <laughs> tries to play in the game way more aggressive which is fine and it works usually for him but Flamu plays way more safe now you need to know which one is more effective but you will see different characters like really good players playing differently you might you might don't like it but it wins a lot of games that's a fact I do understand both players. Flamu wants to play the best result, and Flambas wants to make play the best result while enjoying the game the most as well. Flaspas? Was? <laughs> Flaspas? Oh god. That's a new name. Oh. Flaspas. <laughs> They're just two different individuals when it comes to playstyle, but both playstyles have their po cons and pros. But sometimes you need to affect, um, you need to accept the fact that you cannot just go in and try to do as much as you can. You will get focused. You die to torpedoes, whatever. Like, I relied on my team way too much on the last map. On that position. That position is amazing if you have support. If you don't have support, you see what's happening. They just push through and I die because I can't handle five people. Um, meanwhile, while, while I would have... Um, kited back and shot. I could have done way more in that game. Nice. Yeah, now you just need to finish the task. Hey, Platin. Welcome everybody to this, to the stream. Okay. Now, what do I see from this mini map? There's a Kagero somewhere here, possibly. So Nelson is probably gonna die unless our CV helps our. Nelson. Meanwhile, I see the enemies breaking through here, so I'm gonna try to delay that advance as much as I can. 
Because they're coming for four ships there. But I'm not gonna rush in. I could rush in and die. I'm gonna play this more safe now. Um, and kite away. We also do have torpedoes over here. Which tells me there is a... The Kagiro is apparently here, not in the north anymore. Okay, interesting. It's actually something I would have not noticed. Good that I saw the torpedoes. Is it? Do you see like this? This last no position tricked me so hard. But then again, the torpedo showed me. Ah, okay. The DD must be in the south. There's nothing else that has these torpedoes in the enemy team. Now I need to slow down here and keep the enemy here busy. Tom Falke, hello. Mopo Versteher, guten Tag. Hello. <coughs> so now, what we do is we essentially just keep them busy, try to get the focus on us, and smacking them left, right, and center while taking minimal damage if possible. Ooh, nice. Pretty salty. Sehr, sehr, sehr salzig. No, it's fine. I'm just lying. It's completely fine. And see, my goal is it to get all of these guys on me now while perfectly being able to run away in case and go dark. This is the ultimate goal here. Because they're just running into us. Which they have to basically because we have two caps, so they need to do something. And we can just farm them here. Now unfortunately I lost my Bismarck friend. Which means everybody's gonna focus me now. But even then, I'm just gonna play this slow and try my best. Meanwhile they gonna go for the CV apparently and go to C. Now I need to go full speed. So I can stay undetected in case. <coughs> but with this kind of positioning right now, I, I decide when I disengage or not. Unless the carrier shows up, but that's a different story. But at the moment, if I would stop firing, I could stop the this fight. Could be like, nope. Now we might get the Donsko in this turn, hopefully. Yes, it's very good. See? Donsko gone, they don't have a radar anymore. We gotta keep kiting away and keeping them busy unless we're reaching uh, until we are reaching a critical point of our health pool where we like say, okay, we can't handle this anymore. We're gonna disengage and use our heals. Like now we are slowly reaching a point where I'm saying, okay, let's let's go undetected here. And now I'm gonna stop firing until I got my heal up again. And we are dark. Easy. Yes, I can. And keep in mind that I'm distracting two for like we have five people and out of five people I'm distracting right now three people. And if they decide to turn into the cap, I can shoot their broadside. All I'm doing here right now is keeping them busy and yet my team still fails to do something against one CV. Not even being able to cap, which is a bit sad, but hey. And if they're going into A, uh, B, I'm gonna turn around and keep resetting them with the help of the CV. I'm just questioning what my map tune is doing at the moment. Because he's going super slow. Anyway, we're gonna switch around now and turn in. And this, this is the point of time where we're slowly going into, commence into a brawl. Slowly and steady. We don't want to overcommit yet because Alaska is gonna definitely win in the brawl with, against us just because he has way better AP angles. So we're gonna use the islands and try to get rid of him because he's our biggest threat at the moment by far. With the Colorado AP but Colorado is completely ignoring us. Your face 
Okay, Takami's coming. Wait, you're back? Oh my god. Hello, Dictator. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Wow, look at that Cargelo. That play Cargelo is misplaying so hard at the moment. No fucking clue why he would go in that corner. And yet still, despite having like four people on me, we're losing this game. But this is just, this is just higher, higher force. I can't do something about that. If my team dies against one dude and we're talking about the Graf Zeppelin, which is by far the worst tier 8 CV. Ah, do you see this? You see my point, right? I, I kept four people busy for the most part. I took minimal damage. <laughs> you should have you should have brawled if you had bigger guns. Yeah, but only with a good health boot. There, there's no point in going in with like 50k and instantly die. You're not helping your team with it. I did so much right now and it worked perfectly fine for me out until they all died in the north against one dude. Which is a bit sad, but I can't change the fact. I need to launch the Pitos now because I don't get any chance. Maybe, or we get another chance to get them off? No. I had to try it now. We're gonna die. Turn, 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 Okay, we're gonna get the Alaska. Unless the torpedo is a low damage roll, but we should be fine. There's no way he's gonna dodge these. Right? Or did he? Oh, sick! He did, he did dodge them somehow. No idea how, but he did. Nice. Um... But yeah, this was a good game and it should have been a win. I just don't, I, I can't describe what happened here. I just know these guys were not shooting the others until the last moment. So they literally lost against one Graf Zeppelin, however that's possible. I'm doing good, work-life balance is in the VG, VG though. Trash, I mean, I see. Ah, okay. But you're doing good. Welcome, buddy. Good morning, you winners. Fat dog, good morning. So, yeah. You, you've you seen what's how it can work. If I would have gone, gone in, I would have died way earlier. We wouldn't have had so much impact. But this was just higher force. We were meant to lose this game. If four people died to a Graf Zeppelin. That, te that tells you how good that team was in the end. I'm just gonna wait because I wanna play AG again. I also don't know why he pushed the Graf Zeppelin. He nearly died from all the secondaries. <laughs> hey dude, welcome. But well, this was just truly Pepega. We lost way too many ships. You can't even blame it on a Kagero because he was behind my back. At the beginning, I was like, okay, maybe Kageo went up something, but no, everybody was here besides the CV. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why he pushed. I mean, he got him in the end, but he was the only one. That was truly Pepega here. That was that was just really badly played by them. Look at this, 300 base XP in front. To a Neptune that got all the XP from uh, the planes and killing the CV now. Colorado first, that's worth a compliment. But yeah, 